right, so since we're ready to uh, put the trailer into storage, we could go ahead and uh, disconnect the power here. I'm also going to take out the battery and the propane tanks to just um, uh, store them in our garage uh, for the winter. So uh, this thing will be a shell of itself when we're done. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, I have the probate tanks out, I put the cover back on, and then I'm using a cable tie just to secure it um, during transport, and I'll just leave it on while it's in storage. The propane lines are sagging a little bit. You know, it's kind of coming down here, but uh, it should be above ground. We're not gonna be doing any off-roading. So I have it kind of tied up a bit more, back there so it's not as low as it was um, I think it should be okay but uh, next let's just remove the battery okay so we have the alligator clips for the tire pressure monitoring system that's on there right now so I'm gonna remove that and that's just a couple nuts that you gotta loosen up um, and that should be good well funny story I forgot that this thing needs a battery to operate so we're gonna have to backtrack first time i think the trick is we're just gonna have to remove the battery when we get to the storage facility and once it's all level so because i'm gonna need it there too so uh we'll just do that Okay, all right, so first time putting a cover on our travel trailer and uh, the one mistake that we made was to do it at home before we brought it over to storage. So lesson learned, we had to do a, a bit of uh, adjusting, but uh, hopefully, it'll hold up. Uh, the problem that we have is that once we cover it up at home, we realized that we couldn't, um, the signals wouldn't work, uh, so no one can see it. Unless they can see through the back. But, um, uh, so what we did was we kind of hooked up the back um, and we rolled up the back a little bit a combination of like masking tape and uh, whatever we're leaving the uh, signal lights exposed and brake lights exposed so for safety purposes but we're gonna see how it goes on the highway um, the good thing is the roads to the storage place is um, outside of this part right now is is all local roads so I'm gonna try to take it slow and, and see what happens Ideally, we would just bring it to, we would do all this at the storage place, but um, uh, by the time we had unrolled it and I was like, ah, oh, you know, and uh, Michelle couldn't go with me today to the storage place. So um, we're gonna do it this way and just see how it goes. All right, we're at the storage. So here's the trailer all wrapped up got the tongue jack down that's stable stabilizer jacks are down got the tire covers on the RV cover I got was for 24 25 feet um, I think the good thing here is that I'm able to go from bumper to bumper including the a-frame so I got the back entirely covered, the sides, 
and then all the way up front you know I got the tongue jack covered I got propane covered and then battery covered including um, the tire pressure monitor system so seems to be holding up we'll see how it goes I think uh, maybe after a couple weeks I'll come in and take a look and see how it is all right let's talk about the entire process today first of all to cover to use the RV cover someone has to get up on the roof of the trailer which I did problem is trailer wasn't uh, stabilized I didn't have to stabilize the jacks down it was hooked up to the car and I'm walking around up there and uh, it was it, <laughs> it was a little shaky so um, you know so that was the first part uh, the second part was all of the complexities that we had to deal with because like we didn't think you know that uh, the, the signals lights were necessary apparently we had to like compromise and then do extra things uh, whereas we should have just pulled it here and put it on here it probably would have been a lot faster it was a first time experience and uh, there were you know some difficulties you definitely need two people for the RV cover and uh, you know thank goodness Michelle was there to, to help me out uh, so now we're gonna get home it's gonna feel a little weird without seeing the trailer out front in the, in the driveway for a little while um, you know it's been uh, uh, it's been a great season it's been a season of learning a lot of learning and uh, and then we'll just look forward to 2021